right back and you'll hear a tale, a tale of a fateful trip that started from this tropic port aboard this tiny ship. Yo. The mate was a mighty sailing man, the skipper brave and sure. Five passengers set sail that day for a three-hour tour. A three-hour Three-hour tour. Whoa, you want to see a wild shit? Uh, so, Mark's Conti reporting. Hi, hello, how are you? How are you? How are you today? Mark's Conti reporting on some stuff. We got some breaking news on the uh, Tessa Mages. Tessa Mages, they got the boy. They got the boy. He's a boy. He's a young boy, young boy from the hood. They, uh, they don't have him. They got a photo of him, though. Wow, they released a photo of him. So, there's a boy hunt underway in Harlem for the boy who stabbed Tessa Majors in the park. We'll take a look at that photo, little details about that, and uh, what else? Um, so the so why am I playing? Uh, we'll look at the uh, Democratic uh, uh, stuff. It seems, like, it seems like less people are interested in the Democrats than before. <laughs> it's supposed to go up in numbers. The closer you come to the election, it's supposed to go up in numbers. The fucking Democrats, they don't know what they're doing. That's why. They know what they're doing. They just, just, just give Trump four more years, and call it a day. All right. So, so this is uh, let's start here. So, <laughs> it's fucking crazy, right? Uh, watch, watch the moment two Carnival cruise ships crash off Mexican port. Right? They were on a three-hour tour. Right? A little more than that. Carnival ship smashed into another cruise ship. Let's just watch the video. Fuck this shit. I don't feel like I don't feel like talking today. With the frightening scene at sea, two Carnival cruise ships colliding at port, scared passengers on board watching the massive ships crash into each other in Cozumel, Mexico. Both were from ports in the U.S. Videos showing the Carnival glory slamming into the Carnival legend and just missing a third, much larger ship. Close-up images tonight showing the legend cutting right into the glory. Bang. The ship appearing to suffer extensive damage to at least two decks. Several passengers injured and ABC's Victor Akendo leading us off tonight. Tonight, massive ships on a collision course in Mexico. The Carnival Glory maneuvering to try to dock at the port in Cozumel. Here it goes. Through the windows. Crashing right into the bow of the Carnival Legend. He's going to hit us next! Slicing Ooh. right through the ship. You know what the, the, the most fascinating part of this is? And, and it's, it's only fascinating because they're human beings. So look at the people. Look up in the decks over here. There's people. Two boats are, are about to collide. The, the only species on Earth that runs into danger and says, oh, I'm going to take a fucking picture. Uh, you take a picture, you, two boats, two giant ships are about to collide, and you're, you're hanging over the bow taking a picture of the, the chaos. You know, it's like, like when birds or, or other animals see danger, they go the other way. They run the fucking other way. But humans, oh, we're gonna take a picture. That's why you get hurt uh, with the tsunami and like the water, like with tsunamis, when the when the water leaves the beach before it, before the tidal wave comes in, people are like, oh, they're staring like like deer in the headlight. They stare into the into the danger. You're supposed to go the other way. You're supposed to. You got that's your warning sign. Get the hell out of there. But no, people want to get the selfie shot. Right? You get selfie shot with two boats colliding. Three plummeting into the water below. Someone is coming down the hallway screaming, emergency, emergency. Oh, my God. That Look, that, that's the image, too. To get that image right there, you, you're literally hanging over two boats crashing. Right? You're supposed to get the, get the hell out of there, right? It's pretty crazy, though, right? Two, two giant ships collide. Somebody lost their job over this shit. This, nobody got away with this. We felt the crunch. We felt the shake. And it was just very, very scary feeling. Yo! Oh, my God! Bystanders on the pier looking on in shock. Someone could have died. This view from a third ship in the crowded port, the Royal Caribbean Oasis of the Seas, the glory narrowly missing that ship too. Oh no. Carnival says six passengers on board the glory were injured, one while evacuating from the dining room. They're by the windows eating, so um, it's very, it was very scary, traumatic, and just glad that it wasn't worse. 
The Glory is more than 950 feet long and holds nearly 3,000 passengers. It set sail from New Orleans five days ago. The legend is supposed to return to port in Tampa on Sunday. Just incredible pictures there, Victor. He's with us live tonight, and Carnival now says these ships, despite that collision, the both will continue on. David, Carnival says no itineraries have been affected by this. So that means when the Glory returns to port in New Orleans on Sunday, they'll board a new set of passengers and they will continue on their Christmas cruise as planned, despite having a giant hole in the back of the ship. That's pretty crazy, right? So if you're on the boat, right, they're just going to continue, right? The di What is the dining room is covered? It is closed? Anyway, so uh, so that's... that's uh, that's that. All right. So the latest Democratic uh, Democratic debate had lowest viewer turnout yet, lowest viewer viewership yet. I thought the you know the 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 primaries coming, people are supposed to get excited. They started off with ten million people watching on television, now they're down to six point seven million. It's still a lot of people, but it's like half. All right, the credit the the field is getting smaller. That's a good thing. But knock it down to three. All right, so January, maybe we'll see Stayer out. We'll see um, uh, uh, Klo Klobuchar out. We'll probably see Yang out. Just go with the top four. The top four, Bernie Sanders, Joe Biden, Elizabeth Warren, Pete Buttigieg. Let's see that for January. That should be, that should be a, a winner right there. Bernie, Bernie and Elizabeth Warren will crush, crush these two, right? And then maybe they'll go after each other for a change. So, um, so that's all I wanted to say about that. The debate... And Los Angeles drew an audience of 6.7 million viewers, lowest so far of the cycle, according to early numbers from Nelson uh, deadline report. Wow, interesting. What else? Um, so let's look at some fake polls. Uh, they're still putting, they got Buddha Judge winning Iowa. That is such bull fucking shit right there. Right? I'll bet $100 right now that Buddha Judge doesn't win Iowa. Unless it's totally rigged, unless Iowa is totally, totally, you know, the machines are totally rigged to make, why wow, make Sanders look bad. So they got Buda Judge, 24, Sanders, 21, Biden, 15, Warren, 18. Uh, and, and that's a, in Iowa, Iowa State poll. CNN presidential poll still ha ooh, has, let's see, they got Biden, 26. Biden, 26, Sanders, 20, Warren, 16, Buttigieg, 8. And they got they got Bloomberg, 5%. Wow. Cover it up. Right. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I think Bernie Sanders is the favorite. He's got the best ground game. He's got the most money on the ground. Blah, blah, blah. So let's, let's uh, whatever. Have at it. Have at it, Democrats. Keep cheating. So here he is. I was right. I was right all along. New York uh, NYPD released photo of third suspect in fatal stabbing of Tessa Majors. Uh, so they got the one kid, right, the one 13-year-old kid who they caught right away and said he saw the other two kids. He handed off the knife to the other two kids, and he saw one of the two kids stab the girl. He says he saw feathers fly. He confessed. He gave the names, right? And this kid was apparently on his way. There's now a manhunt, a manhunt in Harlem, a boy hunt. Hunt the boy, hunting for the boy. In Harlem, uh, apparently this is the kid that was en route to the police station with his parent. The parent, why the fucking, in Harlem? It's crazy, right? So why, did, why didn't the police, once the police know where he is, why didn't they swoop in on the kid? Why did they give him a chance to fucking escape, man? How is it, you know, the other thing is, how is a young kid able to, to uh, elude the police for so long? It just sounds suspicious to me. It sounds like, it sounds like an NYPD maneuver where they don't have the third kid, right? So they, they or they have the, you know, they, they had a, a, the second suspect. They let him go and maybe he's under surveillance. Maybe he has a bracelet on. Maybe he has a wire on. Maybe they're just watching him, you know, closely. It just seems weird that a a a fourteen year old kid could elude the entire NYPD for so long for for what is now I don't know two weeks a week, December eleven. It's almost it's ten days ago. The boys pick the boy pictured uh, in the selfies is the third suspect in Major's killing in Manhattan's Morningside Park on December eleven said. 
NYPD chief de- uh, chief detective assistant chief Thomas Conforti. Thomas Conforti. Hey, hey don't Thomas. Hey, don't fuck with Thomas Conforti. Law enforcement sources said the 14-year-old boy is suspected in in stabbing majors in what has been called a botched mugging. Blah, blah, blah. Multiple sources said he bolted out of a car and away from his mother Monday night while en route uh, to meet the police. The mom uh, notified authorities who descended on the area around 125th Street uh, to track down the boy, but were unable to find him. Wow, slippery kid, man. How did he get away? I don't want to say they all look the same. <laughs> all boys look the same, right? Boys at the same age. Boys the same age. Who's hiding the boy? Who is hiding the boy? So some guy, some crazy guy tried to find him, tried, tried to help out the police. Connecticut man busted for making threat against Tessa Mages' suspect. <laughs> Listen to this guy, man. This guy's a psycho guy, right? Or is he? Is he a good Samaritan or a psycho? A Connecticut man was arrested Friday for posting a racist threat to shoot one of the teens uh, suspected in stabbing death of Bernard College student Tessa Majors. Trevor Spring, 31 of Mystic, Connecticut, posted the threat to a Reddit forum from his cell phone on Thursday, according to police. Quote, I do believe that's black kid murdered her, though. though. I do believe that's Black kids murdered her, though. It's just it's all misspelling. Spring already posted uh, posted according to police report. Quote, that's the real story. Why don't you pay attention to that? A black kid, 13, 14 year old, stabbed a white girl to death for nothing. He ranted. Quote, time to exterminate the real problem. Now he has uh, free. Now he was freed by family lawyer and let loose in Harlem. I'm going to search for him through through myself tonight, armed and ready to fire. Then the parents are next. Ooh, you don't say that, man. That's just, that's that's harsh. That's a direct threat. Lock him up. The NYPD's racial and ethical, ethically motivated extremism unit. (laughs) Listen to this. NYPD's radically and ethically motivated extremist unit. The NYPD actually has a separate unit for that. Spotted the post and alerted uh, Connecticut State Police, according to police report. Wow. Cops in the state tracked Spring down, and he admitted to writing the post because he was uh, enraged that Major had been killed over pocket change. He told police he had no intention of going to to New York to hurt people. Police also determined he had no weapons at his disposal. Spring was hit with a misdemeanor threatening charge and released on $5,000 bond. The charge carries a possible maximum sentence of one year in jail. Majors was killed, blah, blah, blah. We know she was killed. Teens allegedly grabbed her, put her in a chokehold, repeatedly stabbed her. So so is he a bad guy for, for wanting to go on a manhunt? To help the police, they can't find them, and he's going down there to, to, to shoot them out of the mofo? I don't know, man. I don't know about that. It's, uh, it's pretty heavy. You don't threaten people, man. It's like fucking people who psycho, man, online. They say the craziest things, and they incriminate themselves, man. It happens to me all the time, man. I get threats all the time. Fucking psychos out there, man. They don't want the truth, man. They're fucking afraid of that shit, man. They're afraid of that shit. You throw a little of this shit out, and you get fucking psychos at your hand. But, you know, I get fucking... I get all kinds of shit here, man. You come up my stairs, man. You fucking. Psh. I don't come looking for you. You come looking for me, man. You fucking. Psh. You're, you're mine. I own your fucking ass, man. Just remember that shit, motherfuckers. <laughs> so, so Marcus Conte reporting. I don't know what to make of it, man. I just it's fucking crazy. Uh, it's a crazy world we live in. The, the the elections don't count. You got you got predators. I was right, man, about the kid. I was right. You're going to turn up three young black kids, man. They stabbed the white girl because it's white privilege. She's privileged. She's proud. She's fucking, you know, how much more do you need to see, right? What, what more do you need to see? I fucking, so you know, I didn't have to be, I didn't have to use my psychic powers to figure that one out. Man. So, uh, so uh, Marcus Conti reporting. Have a good Saturday and uh, over now.